the pressure that you feel, I mean, particularly Australia playing India, uh, everybody always, in Australia, everybody always thinks about the ashes. But when we're playing against India, there's, you know, 700 million people watching us. <laughs> it's, um, the pressure is intense. You played uh, some cricket in Bangladesh. You played some cricket in Sri Lanka. Is is that a bit of a regret to have not played in India? Because definitely the pitches would have suited your kind of bowling. So would you have loved to play in India? So I actually had trouble bowling on pitches that turned a lot. Okay. Um, I played one game at the SCG that um, I played. It was a it was a first class game, so it was a Sheffield Shield game against Western Australia. Um, and I remember bowling to left hander. I think it was Chris Rogers, um, who was opening the batting for Western Australia at the time. And um, if you're a right-handed wrist spin bowler, bowling to a left-handed batsman, you still have to hit. You, have, you still have to try to hit the top of off stump. Um, and in order to hit the top of off stump, I had to bowl it off the strip. So off the pitch, because that's how far it was turning. Mm-hmm. And that, that's partially my fault because maybe I should have gone over the top a little bit more, but it was early in my career. And... Um, it, it, it was it was actually it was bothering me because I didn't know what to do. Look, I would love to have played in India. I played one match. Uh, I think only one match. I think maybe I played in Vizag. Um, I don't remember who it was against. It was in '98. Uh, played against uh, the President's Eleven. Or, uh, it might have been the the cricket president's 11 in the first innings maybe i got five wickets uh i don't remember playing any other matches in Mm -hmm. in in india um but i really really wanted to because what i was trying to do through my entire career it wasn't uh, it, it was always about getting wickets, but it was also about learning how to bowl in different environments. And I bowled okay in that game, but I, I think I bowled a lot because I remember I was rooming with Mark War, and I remember at the end of one day being incredibly sore. Like, um, I must have bowled a lot. I, I don't know what a lot it because I, I I can't really it's a long time ago like 1998, but I remember trying to do press up, uh, push-ups to try and you know relieve the stiffness and Mark going what are you doing because it was hurting me, <laughs> but I was trying to just get looser and stuff. So I must have bowled a lot. But in one of the innings, well, I, I'm sure I got five wickets in one innings, but that's the only time I've ever bowled in in, uh, in a match in India. Um, and that was very, very disappointing for me. I, I, think, I think I could have done okay over there. People talk a lot about the 2003 series, India-Australia, in Australia, and it was a 2-2 result. But mm-hmm. I was actually very proud of myself in that series, even though I, I think I probably averaged 50 with the ball, but I got, I think I got Lakshman out three times and mm-hmm. I got Ganguly out twice or vice versa. I know I definitely got Lakshman out twice in um, Melbourne. It's probably one of the most proud moments of my entire cricket career <laughs> because he was just so composed and so gracious and they were good balls and I was happy and uh, he and I were friends. I could not get Rahul out at all, Mm -hmm. uh, which completely drove me crazy. 
because I'd got him out before. We'd played against one another before in uh, first class matches. India had played against New South Wales and I'd knocked him over and, and you know, so I wasn't really bothered about him. But on that particular tour, I couldn't get him out to save my life. And uh, I would, that, 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 it doesn't bother me historically because I think he's, a, <laughs> because I think he's great, his greatness. So I'm not embarrassed. But but at the time, I was just kind of going, "Come on, Stu, what the, <laughs> you know?" Uh, that's why at the time it really bugged me because I just thought, you know, you can do this. Come on, get on with it. Um, but yeah, so but the Lakshman wickets and and Saurav at the time was supposed to be one of the best players of spin bowler in the world, and so. I was very proud with uh, knocking him over a couple of times. So, um, and I'll tell you who messed me around big time as well was um, Savak is, uh, <laughs> I think the first ball I bowled to him in Melbourne where he made 197, he hit me for six over extra cover. It's like the first ball I bowled to him. No problem. Go for your life. Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do to a bowler's confidence you know to get hit the first ball you bowl in a test match to get hit for a six on that yeah see the the, the thing is so um darren lehman um you know former coach of new south well uh for, former coach of australia and um also one of the most dynamic players uh i think he made 300s in uh, sri lanka when we hadn't won in sri lanka for a long time and he just treated uh, Murali with uh, just disrespect. Same as Mardo, Damien Martin. Uh, they were both ridiculous. But every single time a spin bowler came on to bowl to Darren Lehman in first-class cricket or test cricket, he'd try and hit the first ball for four or six. And the thing is that you knew that that was going to happen. Um, and so you had the opportunity to prepare for that to happen. But it didn't mean that it wasn't going to happen, mm -hmm. and that was the thing. And that was uh, that was the same as uh, when you bowled to Savag. Uh, he would try and hurt, and Brian Lara as well. Actually, um, they'd try and hurt you mm -hmm. as soon as they possibly could, mm -hmm. because that would mean that you would be affected for the rest of your spell, the rest of your bowling. Mm -hmm. And that was the only reason they, was do it, they were doing it. it. It wasn't because they thought you'd bowled a bad ball. They were just trying to make you think that you bowled a bad ball. And the, the key, um, so what does it do to a bowler? What you need to do as a young spin bowler is realise that we bowl slow. Mm-hmm. And that your grandmother mm -hmm. or your great grandmother or your little brother could hit you for four or six <laughs> any time they want. But could they do it two in a row? Mm -hmm. Could they do it three in a row? And if they'd done it three in a row and you took a breath and then you exhaled, so you were relaxed, and then you ran into bowl. Could they do it four in a row? And generally speaking, they can't. And it doesn't matter if you're Brian Lara or Virat Kohli or, uh, you know, Sachin Tendulkar or VVS Lakshman or Grohl Dravid. Like, it doesn't matter. It's the over and over and over thing because the first thing that a batsman does when he hits you for four or six they're not looking at where the ball's gone. They look you dead in the eyes. So That's they hit you for a four or six and they look at you straight away. And they go, what do you think about that then? <laughs> and if you can cope with it, then I think that you'll make it. You are, look, I can't guarantee that you'll play for your country or for your state. But if you can cope with that, then you're a chance. 